Hello everyone, I am Anshni Arora and today in this session we will be discussing a very important trick for your upcoming CSIR Net Physics exam, Gate Physics exam, GIST, TIFR and all other physics entrance exams. This trick can help you to solve the question just in few seconds. So what you need to do if you have already attended my live sessions or you have already uh, watch my previous videos, you may be familiar with it. So what you need to do, once I will discuss this trick here in this video, you need to tell me in the comment section that do you know this trick or not? Or were you familiar with it or not? Clear? So you will surely tell me about it in the comment section. And if you are going to find it useful and helpful for yourself, please share it with your friends too so that this trick will help them as well. So now let's start the discussion about the trick which we will be discussing in this video today. And if you are new on this channel that is Mission Net Physics exam, then you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. Also click on the bell icon after that so that you will be able to get the notifications regarding the new videos which I will upload on this channel in upcoming days. And if you are new on this channel and you didn't watch the previous videos, you can even check them because they will even help you to prepare many important concepts. Now, let's start the discussion about today's trick. So guys, it is going to be a trick which will help you to answer any such type of question in which let's say the potential expression is given to you. Okay, and this is mainly from the classical mechanics part. But in terms of a statement, they can relate it with any subject. Clear? So we need to know that what actually is the thing, what we are finding and how we are taking the steps to find it. Okay, and I will be discussing a short uh, method here. So that's why we are going to consider it as a trick. So basically, we will be having a potential expression given to us. For example, it's going to be a x to the power n. Or it can be n, you can replace it with 4, you can replace it with 6 or anything like that. Done? So this is what the potential expression has been given to us where n is a positive integer. Clear? Now, let's talk about the next step. Here they are going to ask you to find the dependency of time period on energy. Okay, that how the time period is dependent on energy. This is going to be the question like what will be the power you will have here. That's what mainly you need to find. Clear? And if you will check out the previous year question papers from the CSR net physics exam, you will find there are so many such type of questions which have been asked in the previous years. And again, they are having the great chances to be there in your upcoming exam as well. So basically, guys, now let me know. Do you know that process? And it is going to be less time taking. So right now in the comment section, you can even tell me about that if you know it or not. And if yes, so for L is equal to 6, what will be your answer? Just you need to tell me the dependency on E for the time period. Clear? Now, for N is equal to 6, we will be finding it later on. But let me just explain the steps first. So basically, guys, in this case, what you have to do and what will be the steps you will be following. So here we will be talking about the action angle variable. What is this action angle variable? So basically, it's going to be J is equal to j is equal to integration p dq or you can write p dx okay which is related to phase space so even if you want to find the volume of phase space or something related to phase space has been asked okay in the question then normally action angle variable will be helping you there and will help you to get the dependencies clear but how so basically, this is what the action angle variable and what is P here? P is the generalized momentum. In classical mechanics, what is going to be the P expression? We need to know that a little bit. That's going to be root 2 M E, okay, minus V. Here, root 2 M E minus V. Clear? Now, in this case, guys, what we can see? If we want to work on finding the dependency on E, okay, what we need? From the momentum expression, we just need or we will just write the expression which is root 2 m e. If we need to write it, we will just write this much. Basically, it's going to show the dependency on e to the power half. So if you even just want to write the energy term, you will be taking this much part. Okay, nothing else. 
ओके ऑल राइट नाउ आफ्टर दिस स्टेप वॉट वी नीड टू डू एक्चुअली सो बेसिकली गाइज द टाइम पीरियड इज रिलेटेड टू द एक्शन एंगल वेरिएबल एंड हाउ इट इज रिलेटेड सो इट्स कैन बी टी इज इक्वल टू डी जे अपॉन डी ई क्लियर टी इज इक्वल टू डी जे अपॉन डी ई वंस यू विल गेट द टाइम पीरियड यू कैन सिंप्लीफाइंड द फ्रिक्वेंसी एक्सप्रेशन एज वेल बट द पॉइंट इज हाउ टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस पार्ट and how to get the final dependency of action angle variable on e and then we will be putting it here and we can get our final answer so now please focus on this part a little more because it will be helping you in all ways and completely you will get your answer with just these steps which i will discuss now okay see if i'm going to talk about the j dependency on e so firstly we need to work on that that how we can find the j dependency on e because later on we can put it here and we can get the final dependency of time period on e clear now let's talk about that thing we will be taking n is equal to 6 later on see in this case guys j is equal to integration p dq clear in this case we will be writing the j dependency on e that is e to the power half which is from the term root 2 m e because you can see it's going to be dependency on e to the power half that's what i've written here clear and we will be taking a point let's say x is equal to b is a point let x is equal to b is a point where the total energy uh let at x is equal to e b sorry the v is equal to e that means the potential energy is equal to the total energy of the system in this case we can write a b to the power n clear a b to the power n next what will happen in this case i can write the value of b in terms of e that will be what e upon a to the power 1 by n clear so from here i have got that point where the potential energy was equal to the total energy clear so what you need to do you need to write this expression that is e upon a to the power 1 by n along with this term e upon a to the power 1 by n now if you just want to write the dependency on e and you don't want to write the term that is a in the denominator you can just remove it and only consider the dependency on a clear oh, sorry e clear so it's going to be what e to the power half plus 1 upon n in this case if i am taking n is equal to 6 or i want to simplify it little more so i can write 2n n plus 2 Clear. And if I will be taking six at place of n, what I will get here? I will be getting e to the power six plus two is what? That's going to be eight. And two into six, twelve. And it will be giving you e to the power. Let me just write it this way. Four upon. Okay. Or simply just simplify it. Divide the both the terms by four. So you will be getting two upon three. Okay. so this is what the how j is dependent on e that's what we have got here that is e to the power 2 by 3 clear what are the steps we have taken see i have taken a point which was x is equal to b here but if you want to write x is equal to t c or anything you can write it and where you will be taking the potential energy is equal to the total energy just write the value of that particular point and you will be putting it here at this place where at this place and also from the expression of momentum you are just writing e to the power half which is from the term root 2 me that's it so this will be giving you the overall overall dependency of j on e but if you are the one who want to prepare one single expression so this is the final trick expression you can use what is that e to the power n plus 2 upon 2n and what is n here n is this term that is potential dependency on x will be given to you and its power is n okay so you can put it here and you will be able to get the dependency of j on e clear and here e to the power 2 by 3 we had so now if we want to find the time period what we will do in that case so guys let's just write it here e to the power 2 by 3 is the dependency e to the power 2 by 3 j is proportional to e to the power 2 by 3 so how t will be dependent on e just differentiate it with respect to what e clear the j we will differentiate it with respect to e so we will be getting 2 by 3 e to the power 2 by 3 minus 1 which will be giving us minus 1 by 3 
So here we will be having the dependency of T on E that is minus 1 by 3. If we want to find the frequency dependency, we know new frequency is equal to 1 upon time period. So depending on that, we can write it. And normally from this type of questions, we get the question in such a way that write the dependency on E, how it will be dependent on E. They can give you any parameter. But this approach, now practice it for different questions or you can even check out some previous year questions based on this trick. If you have prepared it for the first time, I hope it will be helpful for you and you will be able to get the answer just in few seconds. Okay, maybe in the discussion part we have devoted some time, but after that if you will be applying this method, if you will be using this approach and these steps, it will surely be very much less time taking for you. Along with that, the final expressions even you can prepare. Like I have got the general dependency of J on E in this way, that is E to the power N plus 2 upon 2N. So what I can do, I can even put it at this place, e to the power n plus 2, okay, j is proportional to what? e to the power n plus 2 upon 2n. So if I will be differentiating it with respect to e, how I will get the dependency? So it will be proportional to the constant term, the power term we will be having, then n plus 2 upon 2n minus 1. So we will be getting minus 2n there which will give us 2 minus n upon 2n, okay, 2 minus n upon 2n. So this expression even you can prepare easily and it will help you to write the dependency of time period on energy as well. So guys, I hope everything will be clear to all of you, but still if something is not clear or even if you want me to take the questions related to this trick from the previous years in upcoming sessions, so you can tell me this thing in the comment section, okay, let me know if you want more questions or questions based on this method or if there is something which is not clear to you from the steps which I have explained here, okay? And thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end and I hope the discussion we have done today will be surely helpful for all of you. Also guys, this update I have provided you that there is going to be a price hike in the Unacademy plus subscription amount so it will be effective or there is one more update now. That is, it can be from 1st July, okay? So if you are planning to take the Unacademy Plus subscription, because with the help of Unacademy Plus subscription, you will be able to prepare very well for your upcoming exam under the guidance of top educators and with the most important courses which we are having on Unacademy Plus. So guys, uh, now if I'm even going to provide you one more information regarding Unacademy Plus subscription, so almost every week, New batches are starting now on Unacademy Plus. So even if you will be taking the Unacademy Plus subscription right now, you will be able to attend the new course classes or for example, if any course is already going on and you are finding it useful, helpful for yourself and you want to attend the sessions of that particular course. So the previous classes recordings, which you have missed because you are taking the subscription today, so the recordings will be available to you for the previous classes and you can cover up that part easily by watching the recordings. And in this way, you will not miss anything and you will be able to cover up each and everything. And guys, whenever you are going to take the Unacademy Plus subscription, you can use and apply the referral code which is Anjali Arora as mentioned here on the screen. No space in between, spelling should be same. That's how you need to write it and apply it. And by using and by applying this referral code, you will get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. And now to take the Unacademy Plus subscription, what you need to do, you can download the Unacademy Learning app or you can uh, search Unacademy Plus on Google and you can proceed further in this way. So guys, I hope each and everything will be clear to all of you. Along with that, all these courses by the top educators will help you to prepare very well for your upcoming exam. That's too in very less time, okay, under the guidance of top educators by learning the concepts, tricks and by preparing many topics together, you will be able to do very good preparation and you will be able to take your preparation to a very good level as well. So thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. I hope each and everything is clear to all of you and we will be having more important discussion in upcoming sessions. Okay, so if you are new on this channel and you have not subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe it right now. And if you found the video helpful for yourself, you can share it with your friends too. Thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end. Thank you.